What's up, scholars? We are back. We are going to begin the process of designing an investigation. Yes, we're going to do it, and we're going to use this little truck right here, something that I know that lots of people have, little rolling cars and trucks. Yes, I love them. I grew up on these things. And this one is yellow, so my son would call it the bumblebee truck because he loves bumblebee from Transformers. What are we going to be doing? Well, whenever you're talking about investigations, we're just going to use the concept of force, and we're just going to ask questions to try to, you know, questions start everything. Everything begins with you asking a question, and then your question is going to lead you to something that is testable. For example, there are many forces. We know that friction is a force, you know, the, the rubbing between two surfaces. So my hand is rubbing against this table, but if I rub it against a rock, it's not going to be the same. But if I rub it against a piece of ice, it might be even smoother because there's less friction. There's a reduction in friction. There's a reduction in the rubbing force between those two objects. So there's other forces. We know that we could design an investigation around magnetism, but we're not going to do that. We're actually going to use a force that we're all very, 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 very accustomed to. We're going to use gravity. Yes, the pulling force that keeps our feet on the ground. If it were not for gravity, we'd be floating in the air and it'd be like really scary and cool all at the same time. I don't know. It depends on if you're afraid of heights or not. So how are we going to do that? How are we going to test the effects of gravity on an object? Well, first, we're going to make sure that we start to record everything that we're doing. We have to record everything. And the first thing that we're going to record is there's, there's always a question. There's always something that we wonder. So we might have a wondering. Now, you know when we do our little science fair boards that we divide them up into three pieces because our board is divided up into three pieces. And we're going to make this just like your science fair board just in case you need some practice on how to create an effective investigation. Does that sound good? All right, awesome. All right. What we're going to be looking at is we're going to ask the question, we are going to wonder how does the force of gravity affect the motion of an object? So that's what I'm going to write down. Like how does the force of gravity affect the motion of an object? All right, how does the force of gravity affect the force, uh, affect the motion of an object? Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, now that I have a wondering, we've got to put this into a testable question. We've got to be able to test this. We've got to be able to identify a variable to manipulate. And normally, a very, very easy way of doing that is you can say, how does blank affect blank? Now, the way we're gonna do that, and it's gonna be awesome because you can actually do this with me is we are going to create ramps of different sizes and we're going to see how does the height of the ramp affect the distance that the car will roll. How does the height of the ramp affect the distance that the car will roll? And we're going to use something very, very simple, just three little manila packs of sticky notes. Why? Because you have to keep everything the same. You can't change a lot of stuff. You're not allowed to change. You can only manipulate one variable. And our one variable that we are going to manipulate is the height of the ramp. That means that I can't roll a ball one time and roll a car the next time. That means that I can't stack my, my ramp on sticky notes one time and then stack it on books the next time. Everything else has to stay the same. The only thing that can change is your one variable and our one variable is the height of the ramp. So my testable question, let's write them down. Testable question. How does blank affect blank? So how does the height of the ramp affect the distance the car will roll? Now, here's where, here's where it gets really, really interesting. So when you're talking about a testable question, normally the first part of the testable question is what's being manipulated, what's changing. So the height of the ramp is what's changing. We're changing it up, we're changing it down. We're changing it up, we're changing it down. We're good. The height of the ramp is going to change. The second part, the distance the car will roll, that's what you're going to be measuring, okay? 
So we're gonna measure how far the car will roll. Now, the last thing that we're gonna do today is we have our wondering, we're trying to figure out, we're wondering about the force of gravity, like what does it do? How does it affect the motion of objects? How can we measure this? How can we tell this? What can we learn from this? The second thing we do is, you know what, let's put this into a question. Let's make a question, a question that we can test, a question that we can observe, a question that we can use to derive data from, and our question is going to be, how does the height of the ramp affect the distance the car will roll. And then the last thing that we're gonna to do today is you have to tell me what you think is going to happen. And we call that a hypothesis. The hypothesis is your educated guess. It is your prediction of what you think is going to happen. So you might say something along the lines of, I think that the higher the ramp, the blank the car will roll. And I'm not even going to tell you. I want you to make your own prediction. What do you think is going to happen? As the ramp gets higher, how do you think that's going to affect the distance of the car? Do you think that it's going to go a shorter distance? Do you think that it's going to go a longer distance? Do you think that it's not going to affect it at all? It doesn't matter. If that ramp is up here or if the ramp is down here, the car is going to go the same distance. What do you think is going to happen? These are the beginning fundamentals to designing an investigation. This is it. This is where it starts. This is where it begins. And we're gonna do this whole entire thing together on Amazing Science. Y'all get ready. We're playing with cars at school. Yes, this is awesome. Have a great day. We'll be back soon on more soon. Yes, all of it.